Hello and welcome back to Laptop Retrospective. As teased in a video released on the channel quite recently, I have acquired a Lenovo Explorer uh, mixed reality headset, or for those of you that are in the know, it's really just virtual reality. There was a relatively good buy on these that Microsoft had on their store, and I have to say, it was fairly competitively priced. I did a little bit of research on these headsets over the course of time, and even though the Samsung version of this is the more coveted one, I saw an overwhelmingly critical amount of reviews uh, with regards to the built-in uh, speakers that were attached uh, here on the unit, and of course you can't remove those uh, on that particular one. And I know that you have to have like additional headphones uh, with this and the display is not OLED. However, I've actually tried this one uh, in a Microsoft store and I gotta say, I didn't even know that they existed when I went in there and I tried it and I was quite impressed. Now, today this is just gonna be a unboxing. I know that they're not too terribly exciting, but to me, I think that uh, Microsoft's entry into the virtual reality uh, field is actually going to do a lot of good. It's going to introduce some low-priced competition and it's just going to make everything better by allowing more people to try virtual reality, to expand it as a marketable uh, thing, and just, again, be good for the industry to saturate it with multiple choices that are becoming more and more affordable. And I commend Oculus for staying price competitive. I know that that must be very challenging despite the massive financial backing that they have from their corporate partners. Uh, and I'm hoping that HTC with the Vive will continue uh, to try and sweeten the deal. I know that they had a Black Friday deal that I almost pulled the trigger on, but I didn't. However, this was a very, very sweet deal. Uh, with taxes and everything, it was less than $400 Canadian. Uh, so that was really sweet. Uh, box is really sparse. We do have uh, specs listed here. So, uh, video connector, USB, three and a half uh, millimeter headphone jack, all of the details that you probably are aware of already. So I won't bore you with the details. The one thing that is consistently left out of the information on the back of the box, however, is that Bluetooth is required. So I will need to have to go buy said Bluetooth dongle for my desktop PC because my main board does not have Bluetooth on the board. So with that being said, let's taste our, take our trusty knife and uh, cut our stickers here. Apparently it is compatible with the most popular computers. So if you don't have a popular computer, it won't work. That's really important to know. Plug and play, room scale, Microsoft games and content. I couldn't care less. The fact that we've got Steam VR compatibility coming is what I do care about because let's face it, if you're a PC gamer and you're not on Steam, I don't really know what it is that you do. All right. So those are cut, mostly. There we go. Wow. I'm actually already impressed. This is uh, could double as a carrying case, which I think is one of the reasons why it's so easy to set up. So you've got the headset and cabling in there. Not much to report. And it's a deep uh, foam padded box. And again, I think the idea behind that is you could actually use this to transport it uh, to a friend's house or wherever and set it up, which is definitely something it's got on the other options out there. So it's got your instructions, which is great. The one downside is, of course, the fact that you are using uh, just standard batteries, but I am <laughs> anticipating a third-party solution to quickly solve that problem if they haven't already by the time this video has been made. So in here is a bunch of safety information and un manuel. And just like a proper person, we will only turn to the manual after we have screamed a lot. 
in this little thing. It comes with two sets of batteries inside of a box. So again, it, it seem, might seem stupid at first to say, well, there's a cutout for this little stupid box for the batteries, but if you're taking this around, you put batteries in here and you put it in the stupid little box in there so you know that you've got extra batteries so you don't get to a friend's house and say, hey, you want to try my cool virtual reality? And only find out that you have to go down to the gas station to buy expensive batteries. So here are your controllers. And I've heard a lot of people are concerned about the durability of these. I'm really not. It's no more or less durable than a Wii remote. If you abuse it, you will break it. And yeah, there's two nice little cutouts to fit them in there. So this is, as far as a box goes, they clearly thought out the box uh, with the intent that you could pack this up and travel it around and make it uh, somewhat portable. So with regards to testing and how I intend to handle this, it's going to be very similar to what I've done uh, with the tick watch on the channel and that means that it's going to take time. I'm not going to say, oh my goodness, look, it's so good, look at the box, oh my goodness, oh so good, and not actually use it and push it and be critical of it. I know that there are some areas that this headset is better than the other current uh, big players out there. I also know that there are some ways that it is not and I'm hoping to give, just with anything that I've done on this channel, a fairly balanced and as, as much as possible unbiased opinion. So expect in the next, I would say, month or so, because this is going to take longer to test uh, on this platform. And if you have any questions, uh, please post them in the comments below. And as I am going through this process, I will be sure to address as many of those as I can. Once again, thank you for your support. And we'll see you with another update soon.